you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Got another Black Series review today. A very special one. I'm very excited about this one. It is the four pack from Star Wars The Last Command, uh, the book by Timothy Zahn. From the early early mid nineties, if memory serves me correctly, um, yeah, the third novel in the in the original Thrawn trilogy. So yeah, this is a big box. This is this is huge. So yeah, we're down the bottom we've got obviously the characters included: Luke Skywalker, Luke, Joris Sabaoth or Kabaoth. I don't know how to pronounce it. I always I always called it Sabaoth, and Mara Jade. There is the artwork on the front, really, really cool. On the side, a little bit of artwork there of the four characters. On the back, we've got a little bit more, more artwork. The duel between Luke and Luke. You see Jorah sitting up the top there, Mara Jade down in front. And we have the characters. With some of that comic paneling sort of down the side of the box. That's really cool. And then we've got the sort of the Velcro tabs. We can open up and have a look at the four figures there. That's really cool. So there's a little little write up in there. It says, in Star Wars The Last Command, Luke Skywalker Mara Jade must confront Jedi Master Joris Sabaoth in a last ditch effort to save the Republic from Grand Admiral Thrawn's overwhelming forces. So there's some cool artwork there as well. Looks good. There's Luke. So Luke is a clone of Luke. <laughs> so here we have the four figures in the box. Mara Jade is a repack for this for this set. Let's see if we can get around a little bit better. Mara Jade is a repack. She does come with the with the head. That's the new sort of feature with this set. Uh, this Luke is the Return of the Jedi look. So we're not going to go too much detail, but I will leave a link at the end of the video and in the description of the Return of the Jedi version so you can get a better look at that one. We'll have a quick look though. Here we have the clone of Luke Skywalker and Jorah Sabath as well. So we'll get a look at these figures. Yeah, these top two, we'll, we'll get a quick look at them. I'll probably go over Mara Jade a little bit more, but yeah, I'll leave a link, link for Luke, given that he is... Still not an overly old figure. He's still pretty recent. So without further ado, let's crack these open and take a look. All right, folks, here are the figures out of the packaging. And I'm actually going to go through these individually. Um, I will leave links at the end of the video and in the description for both Luke and Mara Jade so you can get a closer look at their previous releases. Um, we're going to go a quick once over, though, um, just because there are some very slight differences in the Luke. This one, his his paint applications on the face have sort of softened up a little. He doesn't have as much of a, a standout wash on the hair. Um, slightly there, but yeah, not as not as prominent as the previous version. Now let's bring him in. So you can kind of just see some slight differences in the faces. The one at the left. You know, maybe the eyes are a little bit bluer. I think they both look pretty good. But yeah, as the hair compares, you can sort of see a little bit darker wash on the Return of the Jedi version. And this time, the lightsaber blade is a much more... It's a much poppier, luminescent green. This one's kind of got that cloudy sort of plastic look to it, whereas this one's very... Very nice and clean. So that's pretty much where the differences are aside. Um, whereas this Luke did have the removable sort of chest piece. This one is, is glued in place. So if you wanted to switch it over, unfortunately you can't. Um, so if you do have this one, you might want to keep him with the, uh, with the, with the closed shirt. Whereas this one, he's got it ripped open. Clearly hadn't fixed it in a lot of years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still still pretty cool. It's still a really good look. It will, yeah, definitely work well for the display of these characters. So that's good. That's good. So we'll put Luke, Luke to the back there. 
if I can get them to stand up. It's Mara Jade. She fell for Luke. Oh. So yeah, like I said, I will give the links at the end of the video and in the description if you don't make it to the end of the video, just so you can go check out this this figure in all its glory. This is a fantastic figure. Really, really amazing. I love this. I love Mara Jade. I think she's you know, never, never really been my favorite character, but this figure is just fantastic. I love the look. She looks so good. So the, yeah, this time around... You know, she's got her lightsaber, which is great. She's got her blaster. And this time around, they've given her a different head. So I'm going to pop that one off. I'm going to remove the sort of little goggles and scarf which sit around her neck. Because then we're going to put this version on, which... Oh, that's a nice tight fit. I'm going to need to just come behind the camera for that one. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's a nice snug fit, but it looks great. The the original sort of Power of the Force expand, extended, expanded, <laughs> extended, expanded universe figure had her in this sort of, this garb with the, uh, with the sort of headscarf over the top and the goggles. And I'm glad, just for, just for this figure, they've done something just a little bit different. So you can display them together, different looks. For different scenes. I think that looks really good. And, you know, you could you could chuck this on another on another character, just you know, to mix it up a little bit. So yeah, she's really good. Like I said, I'll leave a description leave a link at the end of the video. So you can go check out Mara Jade in all her glory. So we'll get into the newer figures. The newer characters, let's get her back there. Joints are still a little tight, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna take a look at Luke. So first off, yeah, look at that crazy look. It's not something you wanna see. That's a bit of here's Johnny. Um, <laughs> So yeah, he's got the blue soft goods robe, which the hood sort of comes tucked into the back. Um, but this appears to be pretty good, pretty well made. I like the look of it. We can sort of just sort of see how it sits. Mara Jade always falling for Luke. Uh, <laughs> the hood is made quite nice. It's just got that sort of it's sort of pinned to the shoulders, so you can sort of drape it down. If that's how if that's how robes are gonna come now, I'm very, very happy about that. That looks good. Sits over the head. You know, it's got that sort of almost got that little bit of natural fold to it on the sides where they where they pin it to the side. Also pin it down to the back so you're not getting that sort of sticking up. You know, sometimes you get that point, it sort of comes out, it looks a little bit janky. But that's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's still a little bit, a little bit of a tricky thing to get it sort of sitting in the back. But if you tuck it in, you can kind of make it work. Nevertheless, let's pop that off. So aside from the new head, Luke has, so he has the torso and the bottom part here. That's from, you know, most Jedi figures. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Um, they're the main two. Um, the arms come from the Jedi Legend and Jabim Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So a little bit of amalgamation of two Obi-Wans. And then the legs come from the Dagobah training Luke that came with Yoda. And also on this, this is the Dark, um, not Dark Empire, this is the Heir to the Empire Luke. It was a Dark Force Rising. Either way, this guy was sort of pretty much just a repaint of the Dagobah Luke. This one I've customized a little bit, given him a glove and a bit of a bit of a cape sort of thing. He's wearing Yoda's old necklace thing, but that's that's for another day. Just thought I'd bring him down to share the legs. So yeah, it's using some parts, using an amalgamation of parts, which is good. Obviously, the Luke head is new. Looks a little bit creepy. But it's pretty cool, you know, just a bit of a crazy psychotic clone. 
you know, used used the hand of Luke from Bespin to clone Luke. Um, he does come with the Skywalker Skywalker lightsaber. It's got a peg, which will peg to the belt, which is nice. The blade will pop out, of course. It's in there nice and snug. Articulation wise, it's got a ball joint in the head, double barbell joint in the neck and in the head, ball joint in the bottom of the neck. It doesn't allow a lot of movement, but it's there. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders with the butterfly joint in there, so you can get a little bit extra movement coming forward, which is nice. Ball hinge in the elbows, ball hinge in the wrists. Ball and socket joint there in the torso. We do have ball and socket at the hips. We have swivels in the thighs. We've got the hinge in the knees. So you get a good range of movement there. Hinge in the ankles and then the rocker at the feet as well. So good range of movement for Luke. It's kind of how I want to... It's kind of sound like every time I say Luke, or is it Luke, um, I feel like I'm Aunt Baru. Luke! <laughs> That's nice. Nice tight joints there. Looks good. I'll pop the robe on Luke. I, I don't know. There's just something about the blue. It looks cool. Sort of crazed, crazed clone. That's pretty good. I'm digging it. I like him. Another close look at the face there. And some of the promo shots just had like the inside of his mouth was like white. You know, whether it was just a just a sort of Photoshop thing they they did to sort of slap the look together, but I'm glad you sort of you can see the teeth. You know, it's pretty damn good. Not often you get like an open mouthed character aside from you know Palpatine. That guy, he, he looks good. So on to probably the most anticipated figure, Jorah Sabaoth. Or Kabaoth, however you want to pronounce it. I think Timothy Zahn has has said in the past it's Sabaoth or Jorus or Jorus. Again, he is a clone of a Jedi, a clone gone mad. So yeah, he comes with a lightsaber. We've seen this one before. I'm pretty sure it's it's just a you know it's not a repaint. It's sort of you know the reused. Kit Fisto lightsaber. I'm pretty sure it's Kit Fisto. If not, it's just another generic one. This time with a red blade, obviously. So that's cool. That's a nice addition. Um, and his lightning hands, which I'm pretty sure are the same as the the Palpatine. You know, it feels a little bit more more of a vibrant blue. To those ones where they were a little bit more cloudier, I think these are a little bit more of an electric, sort of luminescent, much like they did with Luke's green lightsaber. It's a little bit more of that sort of clear, translucent plastic as opposed to that cloudy look. But I'm imagining these should be nice and easy to swap out. It's a pretty tight fit in the hand. I'd probably recommend heating that up. If you're going to do that. So I'm just going to do the one. You know what? We're here now. <laughs> I'm doing two. Could just be it's a little bit chilly in here, but I may heat them up before I swap them back. Or if I do it again. So there you have his force lightning ability. But in terms of the look of the character, I really like him. I really like this guy. He looks great. He's sort of got his amulet around the neck. I can't remember what that what that is and means, but 
Loving the look of this guy. Loving the beard. He almost almost looks a bit like the old Rankin Bass Gandalf. In a way. A little bit closer, there we go. Yeah, the, the sculpt of the beard. The sort of wash and colouring on that is beautiful. And just the little sort of there's these little bit little parts of the front of the hair there coming down separately. Really nicely done. Obviously sculpted and then glued to the head. Even the hair on the back, beautifully sculpted, that's really nice. I'm pretty sure this is a all new figure for the most part. I think the legs underneath are, are going to be reused, but you know, maybe the forearms might be from Dagobah as well. But I'm not recognizing any of the other parts. Love the way the sort of sleeves hang here at the forearms. You know, it always looks a little bit funny when you stick them out like that, but if they're sort of sort of pointed down it looks good nicely sculpted sort of material there on the bottom of the tabards sort of drapes up over the shoulders and around the back that looks good almost like this sort of hesh pattern sort of cross thatch look and of course he's got the soft goods underneath which is great yeah, under the underneath here, we see the reason I think these legs are, are second hand is because of the um, the pins in the legs. And it very may well be, but it's all covered up, so I don't care. The feet, however, are new. Got the sandals. That and the uh, 2024 time stamp, date stamp underneath is a dead giveaway that at least the feet are new. So that's cool. But yeah, really liking the look of this guy. That sort of wide stance. You can really make him the center of your you know, Thrawn trilogy display. Which is, uh, you know, some of these figures, along with the uh, Luke I showed you before, the other Mara Jade, the Grand Admiral Thrawn that I have. I gave him the... Uh, the lizard guy. <laughs> so I think they're going to get their own sort of heir to the empire inspired shelf. So let's get rid of these electric hands again. Okay, that wasn't so bad that time. So maybe it was just the first, the first sort of release of the uh, joints was a little bit tight because yeah, even that one sort of feels feels nice now. So. Yeah, if, if you're a little bit concerned, you don't trust, don't trust yourself to pop those hands out. Definitely don't hesitate to, uh, you know, just heat them up with a hairdryer or a bit of hot water under the under the tap, just to loosen up that plastic a little bit. I actually like him holding the lightsaber. I think it looks good. Almost get some vibes from Jedi Fallen Order with um, Taron Malakos, who's on Dathomir. It's got a bit of a little bit of a Joris vibe about him. Whether that was intentional or not, yeah, I'm digging this guy so much. He looks great. Just something different, you know? Something different for the Star Wars line. Absolutely would have loved to have seen these in the smaller scale, in the vintage collection as well. Uh, hopefully Hasbro's heard the, heard the please, heard the please. So I'm going to do a little bit of a peg test for Joris here. My KR stand, follow kessrunhair.com. Um, yeah, beautiful, snug. Snug tight on the foot. Really good. And the same with Luke. Let's get another one here. 
pop that on the foot. A little bit more of a snug fit, a little bit shallower in the peg holes there and the fit feet there, but it does fit nice and snug as well. So if you do need some standing assistance, Kessel Run here is where to get these stands. If you want to know a little bit more about them, check out the website. A little bit of a write up on them and what we did to design those. So I'd love to hear what you think. Come on over to kesselrunhair.com, leave a link in the description below and check out what we've got. So there we have it, the four pack from The Last Command. Again, stay tuned for these two. I will drop links to my original reviews of those. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I uh, also have membership available for all you loyal supporters. I do appreciate you big time. I hope to see you again very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.